Hello and welcome to Super Photo Real, the channel dedicated to visual effects and games 3D content, where I go through certain scenes, I'll show you a breakdown of different tools that I've wrote and you guys can download and have a go for yourself. Today, we've got a HDA called the Atlas Cutter and basically it'll be used to create super fast grass variants like you can see here with only one input from either Omega Scans, Atlas or other images you might find. So let's dive in, shall we? So I'm here in Houdini, and this is the node itself, and I'm gonna give you a quick run through of some of the parameters, and then I'll show you a setup of how I've created that render at the start. So first of all, if you don't know what an Atlas is, it's basically from Megascans, they will give you certain plants all laid out like this on one image. They'll give you normals and displacement and roughness for this. So the tool utilizes this and cuts it out and will basically give you something ready to scatter in your terrain. So for the first input, what you'll need to do is you'll go find that folder and it will automatically pull in the alpha and the albedo based on these tags here. So these are the tags for mega scans, but you might have slightly different ones depending on what else you're pulling in. So for output, there'll also be a high poly, there's a low poly and a card. So this is the high poly at the moment. You can see what's coming straight out from this by default. If I change it to low poly, once this is calculated, you'll see that it will be a reduced file size for what the other original is. So on the debug here, if I just quickly switch this to alpha mode at the bottom, you'll be able to see the alpha of the plant with a slight padding. And how it works with resolution, both on the high and the low, is it will be the remesh value. So if I go into wireframe here, you'll see this value is based on the resolution here. So what you could do is decrease this, making it less polys, but increase the padding around the edge which will give you a nice variant there. So if I just change this to 25, just an example to show you. Just takes a couple of seconds to compute. This is all in a compile node, so it does this all multi-threaded. As you can see there, this more padding. The only problem with increasing it this much is you might bleed onto other plants that are near it. So on the debug here, you can also just hit a preview mode here, which will spray out. And this is very similar to what we saw inside the Atlas for this here. So we'll put it back into this view, which is the same as the UVs that will come out here. So if I run you through some of the transforms, so let's talk about this bit here. So at the moment we've got most of them which are facing up. We have one or two that are on the facing to the left and some are facing to the right. So you can use some of these groupings to basically rotate and flip certain variants so that they all align perfectly for you. So what I like to do is if you go into node information, there's a variant input here that comes out with each one of these. So if you click this, you'll be able to view what variants are what over here. So variant seven, five. So for instance, if we wanted to flip these variant nine and eight the other way around, what we can do is we can click on flip and we can do eight and nine with commas. And those will go darker as you can see there because they'll be flipped the other side. And now what we might want to do is rotate the rest of these so that they're all pointing up. So if I click on this rotation group here, what we can do is we can go 11, 7, 5, 6, 8, 9, and see if there's any more. Now that looks about right. And what we might want to do is do, let's say, a 90 degree rotation. So if I take out a preview mode, you can see here we've rotated those guys from horizontal to the vertical. So then now all of the variants are pointing in the right direction. I'll just quickly click on this. Is there any more that I've missed? Six, nine, ten. Maybe yeah. Oh, variant ten as well. There you go. There we go. So it's quite quick to debug some of these that might be flipped the wrong way, which I've experienced with different ones at the start. So there's a there's a vertical flip. There also this one is center from base. And how this one will work is you might have a blade of grass that will be bent like on an L shape. And normally the centering will be from the bounding box of it. But sometimes you wanna maybe center from the base of the stem here, which might be off to the left or right. So all this center does is it makes sure that all the bottom 10% of the plant is at world zero, which is quite good for scattering. So you don't have any bases that are off to the left or right. So I do that. Normalize, all this will do is we'll scale so that all at the scale of one. But we don't want that because there's different variants here, as you can see. There's slightly smaller ones and larger ones. 
So the remove group is how you think it is. So if we go to this alpha layout, we might not want, let's say three and four. So what we can do is we can do exactly the same as the others. We can go three and four like this, and then we will remove. So let's say these are the ones we want to scatter. So if I go off preview mode. Now to form here, there's a wrap function, which will just bend your plants over. So let's say, give it, this will be useful for when you don't want to make it quite as flat. And then there's a bend out as well. But what we can do is if we hit this random deformation, it will randomly bend some of them between ranges of zero and minus five. So as you can see here, which gives it a nice breakup. So especially when you're scattering. So that's pretty much it for the information on this one. Um, maybe this could just quickly show you this. This is a card option if you need. So this is super low res. So if I go on preview alpha, you get something like this, which is just a single poly. But for instance, we're doing low poly for the moment, which is probably the best one. So all I've got here is I've got some grass. So if we go to this one, we can do preview off layout. Got some grass one. And then I think there's also a weed here as well, which I'm using. So preview light. Yeah, something like this. So now if we jump into lops, I can show you the setup that I was using for the render. So this is now using a terrain and a fence. And we've got some grass, weed, and flower instancing. So we've got three maps here. And we were able to create all this kind of variation just from those inputs. And each one has, let's say, 10 different variants. So it gives it some nice breakup when you're rendering. So I just look, flip through the camera and I switch this to Karma. Once it's loaded in graphics card, there you go. We get something like this. So this is super great for doing breakup, especially on grass scenes where you need variation or clumping or you want to add different plants in. It makes it super fast and automated because you can download from mega scans, you can just download these materials and put them on and it'll work straight away with the pieces of geometry because the UVs are all in the correct layouts of that. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you find this tool useful. Let me know if there's any issues or functionality that you'd like to see. Um, and it, yeah, hopefully you guys can have fun with this. Right, I think that's all good for me and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.